In today's lecture, we will cover exceptions to the law of demand. Before moving on to the exceptions of the law of demand, let us look at the law of demand. Now, as we have studied in lecture 1, that the law of demand states that other things being the same, the increase in the price of the commodity leads to contraction of demand and decrease in the price of the commodity leads to expansion of demand. This means that price and quantity demanded are inversely related to each other. Now, other things being equal refer to the income of the consumer, the taste and the preferences of the consumer and the price of related goods. Now, in day-to-day -day life, we come across situations such that more of a commodity is demanded at a higher price and less of the commodity is demanded at a lower price. This is a situation where price and quantity are directly related to each other. Such a situation is called the exception to the law of demand. In such situations, the demand curve does not slope downwards from left to right, but it slopes upward from left to right. Here we have price and here we have quantity. So with the increase in the price of the commodity, more of a commodity is demanded and with a fall in the price of the commodity, less of a quantity is demanded. In This is a situation where the law of demand does not operate. So the first example is of a Giffen good. Now what is a Giffen good? Giffen goods are special types of inferior goods such that the increase in the price of the commodity leads to expansion of demand and the decrease in the price of the commodity leads to contraction of quantity demanded. The other situation is of the conspicuous necessity. Now, certain commodities as through their constant usage, they become necessities of life and fashion and the prestige values are attached to it. For example, in spite of the rise in the price of a car, we demand more of cars in spite of the rise in the price of the air conditioners, we demand more of air conditioners. Why is that? Because the usage of these commodities is associated with the prestige value or the fashion that is attached to, to the usage of the commodity. The third situation where the law of demand does not hold is of the speculation. That is the future changes in the prices of a commodity. Now, when the price of a commodity is rising, households tend to purchase larger quantity of the commodity out of the apprehension that the price may go up even further. So, they expect the price to rise further. So, they demand more of a commodity at a higher price. Now, the other situation is of the emergency. Now, in case of emergencies, the law of demand does not function. Okay. For example, if a patient requires certain kinds of medicines and medicines have to be bought at whatever price that they are available, that is irrespective of the price of the commodity, you will have to buy the medicines because it is a case of the emergency. The other situation where the law of demand does not hold is of the ignorance. Now, consumers' ignorance at many times induces him to purchase more of a commodity at a higher price. For example, they may just think that there might be just an a uh, um, misconception in the mind of the consumer that a higher priced commodity is of superior quality 
right so i'll buy more of the commodity because it is superior in quality similarly in the case of the change in fashion what happens is that the law of demand does not function why does the law of demand does not function because the demand for obsolete or the uh, outdated commodity will be low without any consideration of how low it is priced that is irrespective of the fact that even if the price of the commodity is very low i will not demand that commodity because it is out of fashion the seventh example the seventh case can be of the case of the necessity now the law of demand is not seen operating in the case of necessity such as food grain salt matches milk for children now a certain minimum quantity of these commodities has to be brought irrespective of how low or high the price is irrespective of the price of the commodity i will have to buy a certain amount of salt because they are the necessities of life so in these seven conditions or the situation the law of demand does not function 